Well, welcome back to the Piney Woods Homestead, y'all. I figured back-to-back -back cabin videos would be just fine. I'm trying to work on the siding, y'all. I'm trying to get all of my material off the deck for the floor in there so that I can actually work on the floor here pretty soon. And I need that material out of my way. So I'm trying to get all the siding done. Probably not going to be a whole lot of chattering, chattering in this video, mostly driving nails. Guys, thanks for stopping in at Old Piney Woods. Let's do a little bit of sweating and a little bit of hammering. So what I'm attempting to do in perfect country boy fashion is hold a board up there, eyeball the angle, mark it, bring it down and cut it. There'll be trim hiding all of this when I'm done, but I just got to have something to nail to because we're working on a slope now. So I'm trying to get those cut just right or close enough. Whoa. Whoa. Y'all, that ain't perfect by any means, but I'm not going for perfect right now. I can come back in, lay me some strips in there where it's uneven, and put my trim on, and you'll never see it. Structurally, it is sound. One wall done on the outside, actually two. The back side is also done, other than some trim work from the inside up top, and some ventilation that I'm going to do in there as well. So one thing I neglected when I cased out these windows was something to nail my trim to on the inside. I wish I had put that together before I even trimmed them out now, but 
you kind of find your mistakes as you go. So I've got some scrap that I'm just going to set in here and fix it so it'll be flush that it's 4x4 four four from the door frame so I can run short pieces of trim or siding and have something to attach it to so it's not just attached on one side and flopping on the other. That may be a little difficult to get this installed, but we'll get it done. Just got to be secure enough to attach stuff to. And I need about six more inches of height. Aha! See, said the blind man. So y'all, it's actually the next day. I ran out of siding to put on the cabin. And so I decided to switch gears so I don't have to mill any lumber today and just take some timbers that I had under the dry, in the dry, and go ahead and get our front porch base kind of framed out. So that's what I'm working on today for the second part of this video. Y'all, after I get all of my cuts made on the few timbers that I have, I'll meet you back up at the cabin. Yeah, you know, all I'm doing is getting the cinder blocks kind of where I need them square to the building and fairly level. I'm not so worried about this front porch. I want it to have just a maybe a quarter of a bubble, a fall from the actual building to the front of the porch. That way rainwater and stuff will just kind of roll off. That's the plan anyhow. So get that squared up and start laying down some of these six by sixes. So the sound carries pretty good out here. You may be hearing somebody mowing their yard off in the distance. Carries good down through this holler we're in here. But I knew that right here, let me show you. I knew my front six by six was gonna stand up about three quarters of an inch higher than this one. It's just because that was the depth of the cut that I went with that my saw would do. And so that's no problem because when I put my 
floor joists in here, I will actually bridge those up and so that they'll be flush with this here. Or I may not even, I don't know. We'll just see when we get to that point, y'all. So y'all believe it or not, I had this thing square on the first try to the building. Y'all, I don't know if you could hear that. <clears throat> Way down the hill, I could hear one of the hogs just barking. They do that when they get startled, y'all, but I was, um, I'm gonna sit down here a minute and just take a quick break. Moving these heavy timbers is hard and these have been drying for a while, so they're not as heavy as they once were. But in the last video, I was talking about how we rely on the Lord for everything, y'all for the sustenance that we have, for the work that comes our way, <clears throat> to the views on YouTube. We rely on him for everything. And it's not always easy, y'all. It is not always easy. Most folks will tell you that they, I shouldn't say most folks, a lot of folks will tell you that they trust the Lord. They trust the Lord. And I have found that a lot of folks trust the Lord so long as their bank accounts have plenty of extra money in them. Have you ever been at a point in your life where you didn't have that extra money and you really had to trust the Lord? Food for thought, guys. I stopped by and saw a man that I used to work for today. I had to run, make a deposit at the bank. And I stopped by and saw the man that I worked for doing commercial grading work. For a brief period of my life in a transition period between operating heavy equipment for myself to public service like i did for 15 years and I, I wanted to let him know i was back in business for myself and that he does commercial work gets a lot of calls for residential and i said that's all i want to do is residential and he was very happy to see that i was back in business for myself and said that he would gladly point people in my direction for work because according to him i had done a good job for him while i was there and he knew that he could recommend me based off of my work ethic with him and my skill level so what a blessing it is to have somebody i hadn't even seen really in about 18 years say they're willing to stick their neck out a little bit and recommend me so the Lord works in mysterious ways, y'all. But I had to, I had to take a step towards him, towards this gentleman. <clears throat> I just decided this morning I'm going to ride by and see him. And I told him, I said, I have priced like three jobs in the past two weeks, small jobs to bigger jobs, you know, smaller pay to bigger pay. And y'all, I don't do things for real cheap. I'll, I'll tell you straight up, and I don't gouge people either. There's a fine line between a good price and a bad price. And so having done the type of work that I do for so many years prior, it really got kind of gave me the foundation of being able to look at jobs, price them and go that way. But I told him, I said, I've priced three jobs in the past two weeks and I haven't gotten the bid on anything yet. And he told me, he said, I got you back. Don't worry. I'm going to send some work your way and you just keep on staying the course that you've been put on and the work's going to continue for you. You'll have more than you know what to do with. So <laughs> it's good hearing that from somebody else, y'all, but, and this gentleman is pretty gruff. He, he's a tough guy, um, former military, spent, uh, I think about a dozen years in the military, whereas I spent 15 in law enforcement and so we kind of think a lot on the same levels and just kind of reinforced to me i believe the lord spurred me to go see him this morning even if nothing else to hear that reassurance from him that everything's going to work out so guys maybe you have found yourself in the same kind of situation currently and you're thinking man is this going to work out well all you can do guys is pray about it work hard and trust that he will provide and he will provide y'all it may not always be in the way that you're wanting him to provide but he will and i have to remind myself of that a lot of times all right back on to the build
All right, this is gonna be a nice five foot, four inch deep front porch, 10 foot wide, y'all. And I'm gonna put six by six columns on each front corner and then run me a roof line off of the front. So this will look kind of like an old general store by the time we're done, like an old mercantile. But y'all, this is looking pretty good. I'm going to bring you back up here in a few days and show you a little bit more work that's been completed on it. I think I'm going to keep on working. The weather's beautiful. It's like 75 degrees and breezy and no humidity, y'all. And that's perfect, perfect working conditions. So I'm going to keep on at it, guys. But I hope you uh, got a little something out of a little motivational speech there. If you're out here on your own trying to achieve something, whether it is you're trying to achieve promotion at work or working for yourself, trying to make it, or just trying to get through to you can get to retirement, or maybe you're in retirement and just trying to get through that, you can do it. You just got to try and trust. Guys, y'all have a good day, a great week. Lord willing, and the creek don't rise too high. We'll see you on the next one.